Hello and welcome to Project Reboot at the Scrap Store in Swindon. Today I'd like to talk about when you donate your computers and laptops to Project Reboot, what happens to them, is it secure, is your valuable data going to be wiped successfully. So this morning, conveniently, we've got Craig coming in from Grange Infant School with some computers and laptops and we're going through the whole donation process, what we do, what we log, and the eventual, eventual creation of a uh, data sanitization certificate at the end of the process, so Craig can have confidence that we've wiped all that data securely. Right, we're joined here uh, with Craig from Grange Infant School. He's just arrived and he's, uh, we, he's brought some stuff in for us. So we're going to go out to his car, offload it, bring it back in. So let's go then, Craig. Got, then. Right, so we've got some um, PCs, laptops, monitors, and some other unknown tech, it looks like. A AV bits and bobs. Excellent. Alright, let's get those out and um, get them into the workshop. It. So, new donation log, signed donor, Craig. Mm -hmm. Grange Infant School, here we are, a sign. Right, sensitive, approximate weight. Mm. Heavy. 150 kilos. Mm. 150. So, we have, I'll do some <coughs> approximations here. Um, four desktop PCs, five laptops, yeah, five, five laptops, laptops. Mm. four or five monitors, yeah, monitors and assorted tech. How about that? Yeah, cover the rest. All right, so we'll make an assumption there's one hard drive in each of those, so I'm going to put down nine initially. Yeah. Okay, and then when I go through the process, pulling them all out, then we'll refinalize that. That's fine. Okay, so, um, and the collection, so let's save that. Collection is now, which is one o'clock today. Collection completed. One o'clock. Great, thanks very much for bringing that in. Thank you. It's not just the PCs though, it's just things like this. These <coughs> customers love things like this. You know, it's not an IT piece, but it is a bit of tech. And it works. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, Craig. Cheers. Right. Okay, well that's the donation done. Looks like we've got some work to do, although Bernie's gone off for lunch now, so he's left me to start stripping out the hard drives from the um, laptops and computers. So, what have we got? Alright, so we've got an old Acer. We've got an HP HP620. Uh, another Acer laptop. Quite old stuff. And empty bag. So, anyway, join me when I've um, done some... Um, hard drive removal and we'll go on from there, okay? Okay, so the hard drives have been removed now. We've got three uh, Optiplex 360s on the floor there. Four hard drives, so the first three here have all come from the Optiplexes 
and I've recorded the serial number of the hard drive. Now, these Optiplexes do have asset, num um, asset numbers from the school themselves. And there you can see the asset number 00178, and that corresponds to 00178. So there we are. In total, we have eight hard drives. Okay, so we stripped the hard drives out of the PCs and laptops, and now I'm going to book these onto my database. So here we are at our log record. Donation ID number 266, Craig from Grange Infant School. Uh, four desktops. Actually, we've only got four laptops. So our total hard drives is eight. Save that. And the bottom section here, we can now add the hard drive serial numbers. Okay, so all the hard drives have now been logged into the database, Reboot Tracker, which I wrote, and we're going to put all these into the wiping rig now. So here is Wipe Station 2. Now this has got four um, 3.5 inch hard drive bays and four 2.5 inch laptop drives. So by coincidence, we've got the right number of 2.5 inch laptop drives four of, to go, and also to go three and a half inch bays as well for our other four drives. Now I've noticed here we have a two terabyte drive. Now that's likely to take quite a long time, perhaps 20 hours to wipe, because the process that I use, which I'll explain um, when I start the wiping process, is three passes, ones, zeros, and hash characters or random characters so it takes a long time to go through three passes of that so here we go let's load these in one Ooh. one of them is failing I can hear it clicking it's not a good sign wiping all eight at a time is a bit of a double-edged sword it can either save you a lot of time by doing them all at once however if one of them comes up with an unresolvable error that the wiping process cannot resolve, it can freeze the whole lot. So it's a process of elimination by extracting the one that we think um, has failing and then having another go to do this perhaps just seven. So sometimes we can get in, in a bit of a bit of a loop process there, trying to work out which one's bad. Anyway, so we've got all eight in there. So now we're going to look on, on our wiping station PC so you can see what's going on. Right. It turns out that the two terabyte drive is indeed failing. Couldn't get a read on that one. So on screen we have seven hard drives lined up there. The top one is the is the boot drive, and the other seven drives are all listed in device manager. Alright, so I separated that um, two terabyte one and Bernie's sticking it in the other wiping rig. Um, because I wouldn't I don't want to jeopardize um, the seven that are in there. So we've got two wiping rigs. So Bernie's going to stick it in that one. Now it's worth saying at this point that we don't look at any of the data on these hard drives. They go straight in the rig, we queue them up, hit the delete button, and off they go. We don't look at your data. We've got no reason to look at your data. It's our policy contract with you that your data is secure and is confidential. Okay, so we've got our seven drives here in uh, computer management, disk management. So let's fire up active Kill disk, professional. This is paid software, and this will scan the drives. Here we are. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drives. Kill. So as I said earlier, uh, I'm using British HMG IS5 enhanced InfoSec 5. Three passes. That's zeros ones and random characters and then it does a 10% verify after that 
So I know that this is going to take quite a long time to run. So I'm going to click save log and shut down PC. So this will close itself down in a few hours overnight. And then we'll come back in the morning and we'll see how we've got on. Hopefully it has shut down. And we've got ourselves a log file which I'll show you in the morning. So here we go, start. Off it goes. That will take a few minutes to settle down and show us how long it's going to take to wipe. I'll just clear that out of the way. Up there. And that's going to stew away and do its business. Okay, so Active Kill Disk has been running for 24 minutes, another two and a half hours to go roughly. So it's half past three, we're off at four, should finish about six o'clock this evening, that will shut itself down. So when we get in, in the morning, it should have shut itself down and we will be able to do the final stage, uh, which is uh, retrieving the log file and creating the certificates. came in this morning, the wiping rig is off, which is good news, which means our seven drives have wiped successfully. Now the one that was failing, the two terabyte drive, I've dismantled it. There's your two ter terabyte front plate. Here's the contents of it. And those are the platters. No one's going to get any data off of those. Those are going into the metal recycling. Okay, right now I'm going to show you the wipe log that was created from Active Kill Disk that will show the results of all those seven drives, and that is what goes into the certificate. Right, so on screen here we have the Kill Disk log from wipe station 2 started at 15.05 5 minutes past 3 and here it lists all the hard drives with the serial numbers and each block here shows you pass 1, pass 2, pass 3 and its verification and how long it took in this case, well it started, it finished at, what was this, this was a 250 gig drive and it finished at 5 o'clock which is approximately 2 hours, anyway so there's all our seven drives. So we take that now and put it into our back into our database. Okay, so we're back in um, the uh, reboot tracker, my database, and we're going to log all those uh, results now. So here we are. Wipe in progress. Well, um, since filming this, I realised there was only three desktop PCs. I was mistaking a PC for a um, a UPS. Not good. Anyway, so we had three PCs and four laptops. Here's our storage units. So the first, so for each one of these, um, it now retrieves the log file, the, the section of the log file relating to that serial number. Thus, so there we are. Complete. Save. So it's just a case of going through each one of these now and matching the two together. Well that one failed, that was our two terabyte drive, I've logged that in as a um, can't read disk, it, it was a loose one, I guess it must have failed and they just put it in their trash basically. Um, so at least we've wiped it, we, we've, at least I've destroyed it. So we absolutely know that no one's going to attempt to, to try and retrieve any data on that one. So that is all the um, log file um, imported into the database. And now I'm going to set the status to wipe complete. Save that. And now I can show you the wipe certificate that will eventually get emailed back to Craig to complete the circle. So I'll just do a print on that and you can see it on screen then. So here it is, Project Reboot Data Sanitization Certificate, March 30th, Certificate number 266, eight hard drives. 
And as you can see, here's a log activity against each serial number. And there's uh, seven, eight entries. Here's our bad disk there. Goes on to two pages. And that gets emailed back to Craig. And the process is complete. Job done. Thank you for watching our video today. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you'd like to donate your old computers and laptops to us, IT Refresh perhaps coming up, please consider us. Your data will be securely wiped. Please subscribe to our YouTube videos. Bye.